the righteous. A bold as the lion, the wicked flee when no one pursuing them. The righteous. A bold as the lion, the wicked flee when no one pursuing them. For the Lord is with the righteous. He is the King of kings. For the Lord is with the righteous. He is the King of kings. The righteous. A bull of the lion. The wicked flee when no one pursuing them. The righteous. A bull of the lion, the weak of the when no one pursuing them. For the Lord is with the righteous. He is the King of kings. For the Lord is with the righteous. He is the King of kings. The righteous. A bull of the lion. The wicked flee when no one pursuing them. The righteous, a bull as the lion. The wicked flee when no one pursuing them. For the Lord is with the righteous. He is the King of kings. For the Lord is with the righteous. He is the King of kings, the righteous, a bull of the lion, the wicked flee when no one pursuing them, the righteous, a bull of the lion, the wicked flee when no one pursuing them, for the Lord is with the righteous. He is the King of kings, for the Lord is with the righteous. He is the King of kings, for the Lord is with the righteous. He is the King of kings, for the Lord is with the righteous. He is the King of kings. For the Lord is with the righteous. He is the King of kings. For the Lord is with the righteous. He is the King of kings. The righteous. A bull of the lion. The wicked flee when no one pursuing them. The righteous. A bull of the lion, the wicked flee when no one pursuing them. For the Lord is with the righteous. He is the King of kings. For the Lord is with the righteous. He is the King of kings. For the Lord is with the righteous. He is the King of kings, for the Lord is with the righteous. He is the King of kings, the righteous. A bull of the lion, the wicked flee when no one pursuing them. The righteous. A bull of the lion. The wicked flee when no one pursuing them. For the Lord is with the righteous. He is the King of kings. For the Lord is with the righteous. He is the King of kings. For the Lord is with the righteous. He is the King of kings, for the Lord is with the righteous. He is the King of kings, the righteous. A bull of the lion, the wicked flee when no one pursuing them. The righteous, a bull of the lion. 
The wicked flee when no one pursue him. For the Lord is with the righteous. He is the King of kings. For the Lord is with the righteous. He is the King of kings. Hallelujah, glory to God, Jesus is Lord, thank you. Jesus, we give God praise, glory, honor, and adoration for bringing us thus far from the beginning of this year. Uh, we have gone thus far by the grace of God. We are ending this year happily and triumphantly and gloriously. We are going into December, we are going into January 2018. And then on and on and on, God has blessed us with long life and prosperity. We shall live to declare the works of God. We shall not die, but live to declare the works of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You welcome to the Hour of Miracles radio and TV ministries of the Jesus Christ Global Mission. Reaching you all the way from Langham, Maryland, USA. This is Archbishop Stephen John Bukuro. Coming your way with God's living word. I tell you, God is a great God. He is the great I am that I am. Thank you, Jesus. Today, I'm led to share with you on the topic, Fear Not. Fear Not. The word Fear Not is written in the Bible 365 times. Fear not is written in the Bible 365 times, which means every day God gives you a capsule, God gives you a tablet, God gives you an injection called fear not. And our test is taken from 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7. 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7. Say God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of boldness and of power and of a sound mind. Hey, thank you, Jesus. I like that. <laughs> God has not given you the spirit of fear, but the spirit of boldness and of power and of a sound mind. God does not want you to fear. Every day you wake up from bed, God tells you, fear not, son, fear not, daughter, fear not. God does not want you to fear. Fear is not of God. Fear is of the devil. Fear has torment. The devil is the terrorist. Is the one going around causing fear in the life of people, making people to be afraid. Sometimes they can't even go to church again. Somebody will soon tell you that they, they are shooting people at the church. So I'm not going over there no more. Huh. Man, I want to tell you that Jesus Christ is Lord. God is God. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. God is protecting his people. God is cheering his people. We are covered by the blood of Jesus. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that arises against you, judgment is condemned. In the name of Jesus, God is terrorizing those who are terrorizing the church. Yes, the devil is a liar. He came to steal, to kill, to destroy. But Jesus came to give us life and life more abundantly. The spirit of God is lifted against Satan and his demons. Yes, God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of boldness and of power and of his sound mind. The enemy may come against you like a flood, but the spirit of God shall lift his standard against them. They shall fall and never rise again. Beloved, I want to tell you that Jesus is telling you every day, fear not, fear not, fear not, fear not, fear not. Those who want you to be fearing and be terrorized, God is terrorizing them. In the name of Jesus, because God is not the author of confusion, God has not given us the spirit again to fear. We have not received the spirit of fear, but of boldness and of power, whereby we can shout, Abba, Father. God is our Father, the creator of heaven and earth. Yes, is the great I am that I am. God does not want us to fear. Fear is of the devil. Fear is not from God. 
Don't welcome that spirit to your life. There's so much terrorism going around around the world everywhere. They are terrifying people. Huh? But I got to tell you that God himself is a terrorist. When God begins to terrorize the terrorists, the terrorists are going to run away. Yes, in the name of Jesus, God is awesome. God is a powerful God. The devil have no right to tremble the children of God and begin to terrify the children of God. God is going to fire that devil, fire those demons, fire those enemies, and they shall be no more. Moses told the people, so fear not. The Egyptians you see today, you shall see them again no more. And of course, that is what happened. Because the enemies were pursuing the Israelites. You know, the Egyptians, they were pursuing the Israelites to the Red Sea. They want to kill the Israelites. Moses prophesied, these Egyptians you see today, these enemies you see today, these demons you see today, these witches and wizards you see today, all these enemies you see today, you shall see them again no more. In the name of Jesus, because God is all power. He is omnipresent. He is omnipower. He has all power and all strength to swallow Pharaoh and his army in the Red Sea. Pharaoh and his army were destroyed in the Red Sea. That is how our enemies shall be destroyed in the Red Sea today. Yes, he that keepeth Israel neither sleep nor slumber. Yes, he that keepeth you neither sleep nor slumber. God is your watch night. God is your watch day. God is watching over you day and night. Yes, the angels of God they camp around you. They bear you up in their wings. You shall not dash your foot against a stone. In the name of Jesus Christ, these enemies you see today, you shall see them again no more. Yes, God is going to swallow them in the Red Sea. There is a spiritual Red Sea that is going to swallow all our enemies. Yes, very soon you shall see them no more. Because the devil has no place. The earth is the laws and its fullness thereof. Joshua told the people in Numbers chapter 14, Verse 5 to 8, Joshua told him, he said, fear not, God has given us victory. We are able to go up and take the country. Yes, the enemies may be there. We are able to go up and take the country to possess the land of Jordan to the sea. Though the giants may be on their way to Hindam, God has surely given us victory. Move on to the righteous side. Move on to the righteous side. Move on to the righteous side of God. Hallelujah. Move on to the righteous side. Move on to the right hand side. Move on to the right hand side of God. Joshua and Caleb in number chapter 14. Number chapter 14 verse 5 to 8. You see, all of you shut up. God who brought us from Egypt, God who brought us to the Red Sea, God who gave us manna from heaven, God who gave us water from the rock, is able to take us to the land of promise. I don't care whether the devils are there. I don't care whether the Goliaths are there. I don't care whether the Philistines are there. I don't care whether the Moabites are there. I don't care. Jesus is Lord over the whole earth. The earth is the laws and the fullness thereof. God is a man of war. We are not afraid. Ha. Why should I fear when the Lord is on my side? Why should I worry when his hands are stayed behind? He is to me, my fortress and my rock. Tell me why should I fear? Why should I fear when the Lord is on my side? Why should I worry when his hands have saved me high? He is to me, my fortress and my rock. Tell me why should I fear? God does not want you to fear. 
Tell me why should I fear when the Lord is on my side? God said, if I be with you, who can be against you? If God be for us, who can be against us? If God be for you, who can be against you? Where is that devil that is greater than God? God has all power. Bigger than all your questions. Bigger than all your need. God is bigger than every mountain. You can or cannot see Bigger than all your troubles Bigger than all your fears God is bigger than every mountain You can or cannot see Our God is bigger than all our troubles Bigger than all our fears God is bigger than every mountain you cannot, cannot see. Our God is bigger than all our problems, bigger than all our needs. God is bigger than every mountain you cannot, cannot see. God is bigger than every problem. God is bigger than every trouble. Fear is not for us Christians. Psalm 27 verse 1. Say the Lord is my light and my salvation. Of whom shall I fear? The Lord is my light and my salvation. My salvation. I will never fear. I will never fear. I will never fear. I will never fear. The Lord is my light. The Lord is my light and my salvation. My salvation, I will never fall. I will never fear. I will never fear. Psalm 27 verse 1 to the end. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Of whom shall I be afraid? The Lord is my strength and my power. Whom shall I fear? God is not the author of fear. The devil is the owner of fear. The devil must fear the Christians. The devil must fear the people of God because greater is Jesus that is not than the devil that is in the war. The devil wants Christians to fear him. We are not going to fear the devil. Who is he? He's a defeated foe. Jesus Christ has disarmed him and his cohorts. Jesus Christ conquered Satan and his demons on Calvary Street over 2,000 years ago. They have no right to torment Christians. They have no right to terrorize Christians, to cause fear and make Christians to be chivalrous. No, 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 no. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. We are covered by the blood of Jesus. The angels of God encamp around us in the name of Jesus. Fear is not for us. The devil must fear us. The demons, they must fear. Yes, David faced Goliath. David faced Goliath and he said, Today I will cut your head and give your body to the best of the air. <laughs> And that was what happened. That was what happened. We are the David of today. We are the one to behead all the Goliaths of this land and give their bodies to the best of the air. In the name of Jesus, we terrorize those who are terrorizing us. We terrify those who are terrifying us. In the name of Jesus, greater is Jesus that is not than the devil that is in the world. In the name of Jesus, our enemies must fear us because... The fire of God is in us. He maketh his ministers flaming fire. God has made us to be flaming fires. We are burning day and night, burning away all the enemies, burning away the power of darkness, burning away principalities and power, spiritual wicked high places, fire of God, consuming our enemies now. Yes, in the name of Jesus, God arise and let all our enemies be scattered forever. In the name of Jesus, God Almighty, arise in our lives, our ministries, our homes, and family, and let all our enemies be scattered forever. In the name of Jesus, the enemies of the gospel, they have scattered in Jesus' name. The enemies of Jesus Christ, they have scattered in Jesus. The enemies of the Christians, God has scattered them. 
In the name of Jesus, God arise and now all our enemies be scattered forever. In the name of Jesus, let God arise and our enemies be scattered. Let God arise, our enemies be scattered. Let God arise. Our enemies be scattered. Let God, let God arise. God has risen. Jesus has risen. He is the man of war. He is the uh, overcomer, the triumphant one. He is the one that defeated Satan. And so we are winners. We are more than conquerors. By his power, we have defeated all our enemies. In Jesus' name, we are not afraid. Our enemies are afraid. In the name of Jesus, God has given us authority and power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy and not each of our enemies hurt us. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you today to receive the spirit of boldness and of power and of a sound mind. Fear no more. 365 times. The word of God says, fear not, fear not, fear not, fear not. Yes, God has given us the spirit of boldness and of power and of a sound mind. God has given you the spirit of boldness and of power and of a sound mind. You are the Joshua of today. You are the Elijah of today. You are the Elisha of today. You are the one to walk through the land. And the enemies will tremble and be running away in the name of Jesus. Because we have the fire of God. God has made us flaming fires in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for blessing us with your word today. We receive your word. Let your word have a place in us. Make us doers of your word and not seers here us alone. In Jesus' name. Amen. I know God has blessed you today. Feel free to email this message, forward it, test it, uh, tweet it, share it with everyone you know around the world. Let them know the truth, that the truth just set them free. God bless you abundantly. Thank you so much for listening. Jesus loves you and uh, we love you, Felicia and I. We say God bless you. In the name of Jesus, receive the spirit of boldness and of power and of a sound mind. In Jesus' name, amen.